What's going on guys? Welcome back to Clay's Coins. I believe confidence creates confidence, so I'm here to bring you some information, education, and better understanding of cryptocurrency and the stock market. It's not financial advice, however. I'm not a financial advisor. This is not an indication nor a suggestion to buy, hold, or sell any cryptocurrency or stock talked about in this video or on this channel. Today we're going to be looking at some Internet of Things cryptocurrencies. Um, we're going to start diving into different sectors here, and uh, you know, if there's any big pumps and stuff like that, you know, we'll we'll be looking at that. But for the next couple weeks or so, I want to break down some sectors and give you guys some of my favorites and uh, you know some that I think are pretty interesting in those given fields. Before we do guys, I gotta do the YouTube stuff. Uh, my goal is to hit a thousand subscribers by the end of February. The clock is ticking, less than two weeks left and I think we're uh, about 550 subscribers right now. It's absolutely crazy, we're growing like wildfire. So why don't you go ahead and join the fastest growing crypto community on YouTube right now, in my opinion and uh, hit that like button, subscribe button, and notification bell. I'll give you a moment to do so right now. Dope, thank you guys so much. For those of you who don't know, um, the Internet of Things devices are something that you're gonna end up seeing a lot more, and I'm surprised they haven't been more um, in the limelight as of recently, especially with all of the smart devices becoming so prominent over the last couple years. But, you know, I figured I'd show you guys a definition here, the Internet of Things, the interconnection via the Internet of computing devices embedded in everyday objects, enabling them to send and receive data, i.e., um, you asking Alexa to do anything in your home. The reason she's able to communicate with those items, like if you say for her to turn the light on, she can communicate with that little smart light switch or whatever through the internet of things. It's a communication network that we don't necessarily access as humans, but we have direct interaction with, with the devices that can access it. We're gonna start off the, today's video with the biggest uh, by market cap and ranked by coin market cap. We know how they can be, but uh, the biggest internet of things cryptocurrency ranked on coin market cap, and that's VeChain. Ticker symbol VET VET. It's almost on a million watch lists, and so if you you know if you use Coin Market Cap and you look at a lot of cryptocurrencies on here, you know that's a pretty monumental feat. Not you know um, the amount of people that have it on their watch list is n in no way indicative of how um, strong or valuable the cri cryptocurrency is, but it just shows the popularity. And with more popularity, you have more volume, more momentum, and you can uh, see more price pumps and or dumps. It goes both ways because remember volume is always buying and selling. It's not just one or the other. Getting into it though, uh, VeChain, it released in 2018. It's an enterprise grade layer one smart contract platform. Um, they utilize a lot of Internet of Things technologies to create an ecosystem which solves major data hurdles for multiple global industries. It exists to disrupt traditional business models in me uh, the medical field, energy field, food and beverage, and of course, the problems that we've seen put on um, the front page of everyone's radar, which is the supply chain is issues. VeChain has a big focus on handling supply chain issues and, you know, expediting this entire legacy system that has been outdated. You know, with the amount of smart capabilities we have nowadays, the fact that a lot of that isn't, um, you know, integrated into the smart chain, food and beverage, medical fields, things like that. Um, you know, you'd, you'd expect that the average person's Alexa smart home devices wouldn't be as technologically advanced as like a hospital smart devices. But I mean, I live in a decently rural area and some people that I know have, you know, Alexa smart home devices. And I don't know if the hospital around here has a single one. Not saying that you need smart home devices to have a successful hospital. I'm just saying as the times progress, we're going to see a lot more of these come and VeChain has a, uh, you know, a clear cut um, legacy brand in mind that they want to kind of disrupt and throw in, throw a wrench to that old system and get in with the nuanced way of doing things. New Kind of Network is an open source protocol for public blockchain based peer to peer networks using Internet of Things technology to share network bandwidth and internet connectivity. Messaging apps, Chinese mobile contracts, and content delivery systems. This project has a very bright future. On the roadmap perspective and uh, looking at the things they want to accomplish, I think NKN has a very bright future. Um, execution is always something. You can have all the dreams in the world, but if you don't know how to accomplish them, 
how are you going to do it? You know what I mean? So um, not saying that that's them, but you know, just talking with you guys. I really like being able to talk with you guys and verbally process stuff like this, and I'm learning so much about these coins. There are only two uh, cryptocurrencies on this list that I'm actually like, that I would say I'm familiar with and have some general knowledge prior to this video. So that's what's awesome is I get to tell you guys stuff, but I'm learning with you guys, so I'm right here with you. Um, don't ever think that I'm above you in any way because we are all in this together, and I'm trying to get us all some generational wealth. If I earn it, you'll earn it with me. Fetch.ai, ticker symbol F-E-T, uh, FET, I guess. It's not very nice to say on the ticker symbol, but Fetch AI. It launched in 2019. Um, it's an artificial intelligence lab building an open, permissionless, decentralized machine learning network with a crypto economy. That's pretty cool. It was designed to find, create, deploy, and train digital twins and is an essential part of smart contracts and oracles on the platform. Utilities there. In my opinion, this is one to ch check out. I think there's a lot of cool features about this. Um, I think it's a really complex project with a lot of very interesting attributes. And, um, you know, they're able, able to do this cool thing with very successful companies have shown to be able to do, which is narrow in on a certain niche or sector, fine tune that and get, you know, as precise as they can in that sector. And then once they're in it, they kind of expand in ways that you didn't know possible in that sector. And, uh, you know, fetch.ai is, is a big component in that. I think they're a cryptocurrency with a lot of future. With the Internet of Things movement, three to five years, you could see this one, um, you know, at a couple dollars. Now we're going to be throwing it back for me. It might not be for you, but IOTX, ticker symbol, I-O-T-X. This is the first Internet of Things cryptocurrency that I was ever a holder or trader of. Um, picked it up in about October or so, I believe. I was able to, uh, you know, get a little price momentum. Back then, it was, yeah, pretty much anyone who bought into crypto just had to wait a few days and they were up. <laughs> so if you sold when you were in the profit, buy low, sell high. If you followed that old school fundamental, you it's, it was pretty hard to lose money back then. Nowadays, you know, you have to be a little bit more skillful in these treacherous waters, but IOTEX is a decentralized platform whose aim is to empower the open economics for machines. You'll notice the economy and economical structure between the machines is going to be a crucial piece of these cryptocurrencies because cryptocurrency in general is a form of payment or a currency, so they're going to need some utility in that sense to, um, you know, have purpose for the cryptocurrencies and to, you know, allow, you know, the fact that there's cryptocurrencies for a sector in which two devices talk to each other um, is representative of some sort of transaction going on there. It's an open source economy where people and machines can interact with guaranteed trust, free will, and under properly designed economic incentives. It works with everything from smart home devices to autonomous vehicles and boasts a global research team of over 40 research scientists and engineers. They are very widespread. Um, as you can tell, it's one of the bottom top 100 cryptocurrencies ranked on coin market cap when i first started getting into it it was well into the hundreds um i want to say it was closer to 200 i uh, don't don't hold me to that but um seeing it run up to the 90s or so over the last couple months has been pretty cool i would definitely keep this on your radar though uh check it out it's a it's a great internet things um kind of way to dip your toe in the water. Helium has become one of the top internet of things related cryptocurrencies in the world. I don't know if you could consider it bigger than VeChain. Um, statistically, looking at the numbers, it's not, but there's always an argument for sentiment popularity. Um, when you look at Helium, it's only on a quarter of a million watch lists. If you'll remember, VeChain was almost on a million watch lists. So there's definitely a discrepancy there in the coin market cap user watch list. However, that's a very finite criteria um, to base any sort of, sort of statistics on. That's like, uh, you know, sports commentators being like, you know, this is the first day in 47 years that a small forward has scored two points from the right side of the wing in the third quarter on a Wednesday. And it's like, okay, I get you want to talk about LeBron, but you can find different ways to do it. You know what I mean? Helium, however, HNT, is a decentralized blockchain powered network for Internet of Things devices. They aim to improve the communication capabilities of wireless Internet of Things devices, appealing to device owners and those interested in the 
Internet of Things space. It's Web3 ready while still being mineable, uh, and it has a great team behind it to be honest. And yeah, I, I point out the fact that it's Web3 ready because that's kind of the nuanced uh, wave you'll see in a lot of these platforms, but it's mineable, which is kind of a legacy um, desire for cryptocurrency due to the environmental concerns about the um you know the expenditure of the amount of energy needed to mine these assets generally um i know with some it's not as much as others but you have a lot of cryptocurrencies moving towards structures that will not allow for mineable assets due to these environmental concerns a lot of companies have pulled out of a lot of brand deals with cryptocurrencies because of the environmental concerns so you got to remember even when we're talking about money um you still got to think about the money aspect behind uh some of these projects decisions last but certainly not least jasmine boy oh boy would you look at those numbers look at this volume right here 147 million in the last 24 hours look at the market cap 131 million at all fully diluted is 1.3 billion so you have to keep take that into consideration but the fact that we have a 24 hour trading volume higher than the market cap is crazy but where's the price going it's down 15 percent on the in the last 24 hours with a massive volume pump so that is indicative to me of a tremendous amount of selling pressure being from that volume pump because like i said volume dictates that there's buying and selling pressure both the combination of the total amount either bought or sold that's the dollar amount you're seeing so that would indicate to me that there's been a tremendous amount of selling pressure if we're down 15 percent the overall market is having a rough day but not as bad as this jasmine is now posting at the time of this recording a higher seven day trading volume than iotex helium and nkn combined that is insane coming in at a seven day trading volume as of right now at over one billion dollars when we're looking at 131 dollar market cap that is an incredible amount of money traded in the last seven days for a coin that is ranked 330 on coin market cap those are big numbers there are plenty of cryptocurrencies in the top 100 that aren't doing a billion dollars in seven days let alone in the top 300 you see what i mean we are going to look at the yearly chart though because things aren't all good with jasmine coin that's one thing that i had a little bit of trouble with when i first got into jasmine is i wasn't too um into jasmine in the sense of knowing what to expect you see a coin like this you see an all-time high of almost like five dollars you see it at like 20 cents 30 cents 10 cents whatever your first and you know your first sight of jasmine was and uh you start to realize after time goes on and looking at the yearly chart and different numbers that we will never regain that i don't believe as of right now jasmine coin will ever see a dollar again um i just don't th with the circulating supply being as high as it is i think there's only like five or ten percent of all of the coins in circulation as of right now there's still so many factors and different boxes that would need to be checked to see a price pump up to a dollar um i don't really know if that's feasible in the foreseeable future maybe 10 15 years down the road i mean you never know now no one has a crystal ball i'm not a psychic if i was i'd probably be making a lot more money than i am now uh but you know jasmine coin maybe in a few years we could see it but we're gonna go over some of the numbers here and looking at the yearly chart jasmine coin traded around the one to two dollar mark from march to mid-may of 2021 it then free fell as you can see on the chart from a dollar 83 a coin on may 19th 2021 to 23 cents a coin by june 7th as you'll see right here a dollar 83 may 19th all the way down to 23 cents on june 7th that is awful i was being nice with 23 cents because it's actually 22 wherever it is yeah you saw it yeah 2278 since then it's never been able to make a push past that resistance line at about 27 cents 28 cents it's in the mid 27s um either way not being able to push past a resistance of 27 cents when you're used to trading between one and two dollars for many months at a time is a very um very eye-opening statistic to keep in mind when you're talking about getting into jasmine or if you're holding i mean if you bought into jasmine when it was a couple bucks a coin i don't know why you would still be holding i you know if someone says i'm down 60 percent, i'm down 70 percent, what do i do i don't know don't do it next time 
That's what I can say. Chalk it up to tuition. In my opinion, you know, everyone has a dis different personal risk tolerance, which is how much down you're willing to risk for that volatility to maybe have a, a you know, big pop. And um, mine is like 8 to 12% in cryptocurrency, sometimes upwards of 15 because you can see really big swings. But, I mean, if you're down that much for that long and you're still holding on, it's moon or zero, you know? I Look at it that way. You're either going to get rich or you know, you know, put, expect the worst, hope for the best. Expect that it's going to go to zero. If it doesn't, woo. If it does, you know, <laughs> uh, this is why we you should always look at resistance lines, support lines, and things like that before you buy into a coin, especially one with minimal trading volume back when it was as expensive as it was compared to these massive pumps in volume right here. I mean, you're talking about hundreds of millions of dollars traded versus thousands. <laughs> Many of you know, though, um, on a fundamental aspect, the Jasmine Coin organization develops Internet of Things platforms, among numerous other things. Jasmine Coin is used to transfer tokens between devices and payment for network service. We could be approaching a buy zone, um, looking at the price right now at the time of this recording, sitting at about sitting at about two cents. Um, you know, closing in on three cents possibly. It's way down today. It's down fifteen percent on the day, as you can see. It could be a buy zone, or we could wit be witnessing a cryptocurrency actually go to zero. I'm not going to be one to uh, say that's my prediction. I don't honestly believe that this is going to be liquidated, and we'll see it go to nothing. I just don't. I think it has a lot of fundamental um, strength, and I think the values of the company behind it, we would see a lot more going on before we saw this go to zero. I think we'd have a little bit of an indication, but you never know. I mean, not many people had an Enron notification, so. And worse comes to worse, I mean, if you can get scoop up some Jasmine for under two cents, one to two cents, that buy zone, if we even make a push up to 20 cents or 15 cents, that purchase at a cent or two is going to look so good on those returns. So, you know, keep in mind, don't play with money you're not willing to lose when it comes to cryptocurrencies like this. But just understand, we, you know, just because it's been up towards $5 a coin doesn't mean that it has to go back there. It's most likely not. And we'll be lucky to ever even see it push past the 27 cent resistance that we've struggled to for almost a year now, let alone up to a dollar, let alone up to five dollars again. So always put things into perspective. It's nice to dream, but when you're dreaming about money, try to make sure you're sleeping. All right, guys, that's going to wrap up the video today. Uh, I'm going to start breaking down some sectors. Let me know some sectors that you would uh, like me to start talking about down in the comments below. Um, if you haven't already liked the video, subscribe. Uh, if you haven't subscribed yet, you must be one of the only ones watching this channel right now who's not subscribing because we are blowing up. And I cannot tell you guys how incredibly grateful and honored I am to be able to do this for you guys. The fact that you uh, feel as if I deserve the time and energy to like my stuff, subscribe, watch watch, um, you know, hopefully have some laughs with me and learn some stuff. It means more than I could ever describe into words and articulate with my thoughts. Um, I love you guys. If you made it to the end of the video, put a flex an emoji in the comment section below. We'll make sure that stays going. And, uh, you know, other than that, stay hydrated, take care of yourselves, have a good day.